Hi YouTube and welcome back to another video. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. Well, to something dream. is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, wow, that was pretty great. So in today's video, we're going to learn this zoom transition effect into the mouth of a human being. Now, if I slow the clip down, you can see the transition happening very seamlessly. So I think the best result to get this effect is make sure the shot that you're getting into someone's mouth is moving forward and the clip that you're transitioning into, make sure that's moving forward as well. This makes it seem more seamless. That makes it seem more seamless. Enough of the talking. Let's get straight into the editing. As you can see, I'm in a different suite. It's, um, I'm not at home, I'm out and about, but I thought I'd give you guys some content. So let's get into the editing suite and see how it's done. So once you've opened Premiere Pro, you will see the two clips that you want. So here, where the guy screams, as you can see it's moving in slightly. And then obviously this clip, that's moving forward as well. You obviously won't have the same clips as me, but as mentioned, when you're shooting it, you want the clips to both be zooming in. So. As he's screaming, I'm going to add a little bit of a zoom from where it's still moving forward. So from here, scale, and then position, make sure you key them too. Go in by five, six, seven, eight frames. And then zoom right into his mouth. Now this is just going to be where the transition happens. Now for me that happens a bit too quick, so I'm just going to bring the key in back and see how that looks, because I want it to be kind of gradual and that's where the transition is going to finish. So what we're going to do from here is get our other clip, which is this one, and bring it to over where it starts to zoom in, so let's just say here, halfway through. So as the zoom starts, one, two, and then this is where the footage is going to start to come in. So from here. You're gonna grab your top clip, bring the opacity down. So the reason being is so you can see the guy's mouth. And what you're gonna do from here is just literally key out around his mouth, which is gonna take some time, but the end product looks insane. So once you've masked out the first frame, make sure you go on mask path, go a step forward, and just keep spreading it out so it fits. With this, I wouldn't really use a tracker, the Premiere Pro tracker, because I don't think it's gonna work well because there ain't enough light within the mouth. Um, and I think it'll just mess up the key in, so you're best off just doing this um, on your one and just taking time with it. The aim here is to not have this going on for too long, maybe around eight frames to 10 frames. Um, and then the zoom will be completely transitioned into the clip. I'm just doing this to show you guys the effect. I'm not going to do this at a professional level, which is what I've done with the actual final video. Um, but I just thought I'd give you guys a quick example of how this can be done. So as you can see, it looks weird at the moment. So it starts from here and goes in. And as it gets to the last two, I'll just extra zoom it. So what I'm going to do then is just nest it. But for now, what we're going to focus on is the feather. So make sure the feather is up. This just smoothens out the effect, as you can see, from that to that. You're going to keep the top clip at 6% opacity. So make sure you go to the start, key 6%. And as it's zooming in, just bring the opacity up to around 12 or 15. This is to make sure it's just like going deeper into the actual clip. So then when it does transition into the full clip, you're going to start from 15 up to 100 within then to 5 frames. This is just for continuity reasons. So let's see how that plays out. As you can see, there's still a little bit that's over top there. So let me just go on my masking. So if you play that back, let's see how it looks. Now for me, that looks wicked. Um, what you're going to do here is cut this part out just before the whole effects finish. Make sure you're cutting the bottom layer as well. Zoom in, just 
keep going forward until the effect stops so it stops here and then key these two out and what you're going to do is you're going to nest these two clips together so this is just both clips merged into one clip now and from here we're just going to do another quick zoom so make sure you're keying out the position and scale and as it's going in just give it a little bit of a zoom boost that I'm happy with that bring that back and just see how it looks Get rid of the bottom clip, the mouth clip that you're transitioning into. And obviously you're going to have the smile mouth still. So what you're going to do here is just get rid of the mask. Delete that. And you should be fine. So here we're going to start from 15 as mentioned. Bring it up by 5 frames. And bring it to 100. Play it back. It happens very quick but if it goes slow, you can see it happening. So. As you said, I like to keep it things fast just so it looks more professional. So I'm pretty happy with that for now. I mean, like I said, it's just an example video. If you wanted to drag it out, all you had to do was just space the timings and um, make sure the zoom effect isn't happening as quick. Same principle, just dragging out the clip, that's all, and keying. But for this example, I'm showing you how it's done. And there you have it. Easy as that. I love this effect. I made it when I was traveling down to London on the train and I had this shot, that specific shot in a nightlife video where a guy came up to the camera and started screaming um, and I thought that was a class shot. And then when I was editing it, I was like, I'm sure I can do a transition here. So I just worked a bit, experimented and it worked like a treat. Make sure you follow all my socials. My Instagram is here, that's where I'm most active. So please make sure to follow me on there. Make sure to subscribe, I'd appreciate that a lot and give some comments give me some suggestions on what i should do next or what i should do i'm traveling the world from january onwards out there i'm going to be vlogging a lot i'm going to be doing daily not daily i'm going to be doing like weekly document the whole journey from start to finish and then make one big documentary on it um, about traveling and how it made me feel and the things i saw and what it does to you as a human being saying that i'm going to sign off and i'll see you guys next time down a tad um, and bring the mixture of shadows have a yellow tint